One of the most loved levels in the Backrooms lore is Sublevel 6.1, or the Snack Rooms as it's commonly known. It's a safe place to relax after the absolute horror and darkness of level 6, and it's just a really nice and nostalgic level. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the history, the downfall, and everything else of level 6.1 according to the Fandom Wiki website which says that the snack rooms has been destroyed. Without wasting any more of your time, let's get into the explanation and let's see what happened to many people's favorite level. Keep in mind, this is on the fandom. It's still normal on the wiki dot. Just go with it. So level 6.1, or the snack rooms, is classified now as a classed unalive zone due to its numerous hazards. But the level is generally still referred to as the snack rooms, even in its devolved state. It used to look like a huge food court area with very liminal features. This ambience of being alone, this feeling of nostalgia, you get exactly what I'm talking about. The food court area spread out for miles and miles, and it was just one continuous hallway full of restaurants and concession stands and vending machines and restrooms and everything like that. There were also other places to get food and water, and it all just felt really safe and really cozy. There were several sitting areas with tables and booths as well, which most of the times were empty, but sometimes sparsely populated. The entire level was so liminal and so relaxing, and it was just a really perfect place to be after escaping level 6, because level 6 is literally one of the worst levels, and a lot of people don't make it out of it. So the snack rooms were a welcomed sight to many a traveler over the years. That is, until the downfall of the snack rooms. So the level now known as the Fallen Snack Rooms, or the Food Court, is a huge, massive food court that looks like it's been abandoned. The once clean and liminal layout has changed to a layout of decay and destruction. The ceiling is collapsed in in some areas, the stairs are all broken up, the floor is all disgusting, the shelves and the vending machines have been knocked over, and many things are just scattered throughout it. It looks like something's just gone crazy and trashed the place. It also looks like the level was left in a hurry because there are still meals and food on display. So now instead of being safe and nostalgic and liminal, it's horrifying and empty and liminal. The lights that once lit up this place are mostly blown out and there are puddles of liquid pain scattered throughout the level. The level itself seems to have become corrupted and volatile over the last year. So what actually happened to this level? How did it end up like this? What's the reasoning? It's been concluded that the snack rooms underwent a spatial tragedy, obviously, and it caused everybody to leave the level quickly, uh, but that does not take a genius to figure out. I'm just stating the obvious. It's important to mention a few things about the level pre-collapse that might make things make more sense. So before all this happened, level 6.1 had a similar effect as level 11 has on its entities and its people. If you don't know, level 11 makes entities docile and not aggressive. Like, it completely calms them down, they're not aggressive, they won't attack you. The snack rooms were similar to this. Entities could walk freely around the level, and they would be completely fine and normal, just like the people were. Until one day, this effect seemingly just stopped working. Out of the blue, it just quit. Which, of course, sent the entities there into an aggressive frenzy. After this event happened, the entities would attack more and more, and they would start chasing people out of the level until the entire place was virtually abandoned, and it caused the people that were still remaining here to hide deep inside of it. There were a few safe spots at first where the lights were left on, and many remaining people were trapped inside and are stranded here, and some say they can still hear the screaming and talking of those trapped people deep inside the snack rooms. Some people also blame this shift in behavior on level 11 itself, and they say that level 11 is what caused these snack rooms to change. Others think it's completely random, but there's even more to the story that many people don't know, but that's what I'm here for. So before this shift even happened, and back when the level was 6.1 and it was completely normal, there was one incident of an entity attack. It occurred when a hound entity no-clipped into the snack rooms by complete accident. 
and for some reason, the entity was not docile or calm due to the normal effect that it gives every entity. It was aggressive, and because of this, it started to chase people and attack everyone on sight, which caused panic. This panic became widespread, and people were running around screaming and stuff, but eventually it was dispatched and gotten rid of by the people there. But ever since that date, something has been off about the level. The balance and the force has shifted to say. That single hound entity changed everything somehow, and we literally have no clue how it happened. After the Hound, more and more aggressive entities started to come to this level. It's almost like they're being drawn to it like a moth to a flame, and then eventually it caused everybody to leave and run out, except those that are trapped deep inside of it. Theories. So earlier I briefly mentioned just a couple theories as to what happened, but now I kind of want to dive deeper into them. So the level 11 effect is not really well understood and many people just don't trust it and they don't know how it works. Like how can one level make normally aggressive entities not aggressive? Like how does it work? Where's the science? And if we don't understand how it works, we can't be prepared for when it stops working, which is exactly what happened on level 6.1. No one could have prepared for the effect to stop because they had no idea that it would. That one single hound started a chain of aggression that wiped out an entirely safe level that everyone knew and loved. And like I said, we still just have a couple theories as to why it happened. Was it a change in the level 11 effect itself? Or did whoever controls the back rooms just decide to change it? Or was the level destroyed on purpose for some reason? There are a ton of unanswered questions that we still all have and now we're just left with this faint memory of what used to be a safe haven level in the back rooms. To enter this level, you can walk into a restaurant on level 11 and you'll have a chance to be sent here each time you do that. So you can just walk into like a restaurant over and over again, I guess, and you'll eventually get sent here. And to exit, you have to find a set of glass doors, walk outside of them, and you'll be sent back to level 11, or you can find a window that's indoors and you can break it, jump through it, and you'll go back to level six, which I wouldn't recommend doing because level six is awful. But I do wanna hear all your theories in the comments about this level. I'm very interested to hear what you have to say. My personal theory is that somehow a shift from level 11 changed the entire vibe and the docile effect somehow, and it caused level six to stop giving that effect off and eventually entities just overtook it. But that still doesn't explain why there are so many entities that are drawn to this level. Is it because there's food here? Is it because there was lots of people they could prey on? We just don't know. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. A lot of levels have been rewritten over on the fandom to be like less safe and more scary to fit the, the backroom's liminal horror aspect. So it doesn't shock me that they redid this one. But like I said, it is still completely normal over on the wiki dot. Nothing's changed. The level is not gone. This is just what the fandom is showing the snack rooms as. The regular good old snack rooms is still there on the wiki dot. No worries. Don't get upset about it. It's just a different canon. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, check out the description for my socials, like Twitter, Discord, all that, and my second and third channels, Toogly and Spoogly, if you want more from me, like reactions or, or horror video essays, all that kind of stuff. I'll see you all in the next video on any one of my channels when I do. Thank you so much for everything, and I'll see you later. Peace.